Our dear Lord, we thank you because you loved us even before we knew you. Thank you, my Father, because of this far that you brought each and every one of us. You've taken care of us the whole week. And now, King of all glory, you've gathered us here this very morning to worship you, to praise you, to petition before you, and more so to learn from your word. As we are said to hear from you, may your spirit, King of all glory, convince all of us your will. Teach us, enlighten us, direct us, and King of all glory, make us understand your will upon our lives. This is a humble prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. We can have our seats. I really thank God because of this another opportunity that God has given me to be in this great archdeaconry. By the way, I have noted that this archdeaconry is a shining. Praise be to God. Eh, it is shining. Ata uko kwa mama gong niliona wa mama wa kalura wakuwa wengi sana. Shiro the same. So this archdeaconry is great and I really thank God to be your friend and also your preacher this morning. I'm Joseph Washira, born again. I come from Limuru Achitikonali in a parish called Kashinyanga, Emmanuel. That is where I fellowship with my family. I have the blessings with me and I know one time, one day we will come together with them to fellowship here. I also have the blessings of my vicar, Reverend Jennifer. Everywhere I go to preach in this nation, I always go at her blessing. I'm also happy because of our area dean. Our friendship started a long time ago when he was back at Banana. He came to Kabuko, he went to Keno, and here we are, praise be to God. And I thank God because of seeing each and every one of you also being here this morning for this service. Although I noted most of you came late. When you were getting in, very few people were here. And I always tell people, purpose, purpose never to be a prayer item in the church. You know, when, we come, when you come late, you always become a prayer item. Whereby we pray for you, God has turned your feet. God has turned your feet. Na jira gato, oga shono kaga hanini. Una jiuliza kwa nita obea kwa kila siku, has turned my feet. So make sure that you always come here on time and then you are going to be blessed of the Lord. Iyo isho igine imetajwa na auditor ya kutumia cho. Praise be to God. Ujo kuna maboma zuri na chukua kwa ibada kama yu imenishika. And it is very biblical. If you read Deuteronomy chapter 23 and verse 13, kwanza usome ya kikuyu, Deuteronomy 23, 13, inasema ukieda cho, unaagalia nyuma, arafu unafunika. It is Bible. Some people who go to toilet, they don't look back. I was teaching my daughter when she was young. I get a chow and a flash. Na yagari kama ameda. Na if you do what wakubwa na kuaga. Zau gigiya kwa chow at modern facility. Na unapata mtu ameacha muziko pare. Haja teremusha. Praise be to God. No, let us be cautious. It is very biblical. When you go to toilet, always look back. Very biblical. Nemugu aliadika siyo mimi. So this morning, I'm born again. I'm delighted to be here. We got our readings. I want to be very fast. Uh, we got our reading from book of uh, Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. Nehemiah chapter 6, verse 1 to 9. That was our first reading. And we got our second reading from the book of Luke chapter 14 verse 28 to 30 and I was telling the first service the reason as to why we do both far, uh, both Old Testament and the New is because the New Testament is confined in the Old and the Old is revealed in the New. So when you read both you get to understand the, work of, uh, the word of God. Today being a Palm Sunday I want to relate my topic with the theme of the day because this is where and when we celebrate the triumph entry, when Jesus got victoriously into Jerusalem. And it is good to understand it was his last week, his last days, his last part to accomplish the mission, to finish the mission that he started at his birth. I always preach it this way, that the birth of Christ brought man to God. 
but the death of Christ, which we are about to celebrate, it took man to God. I want to repeat again, every Christmas we celebrate the birth of Christ, it is when God came to man. But Easter, it is when we celebrate the death of Christ, whereby it took man now to God. And so, if this is when Jesus is finishing, then I want us to learn something to do with the finishing. And my topic this morning is the cost of finishing. The cost of finishing. That is the topic of today. And I'll start by saying this. All the joy is at the finishing line. All the joy is at the finishing line. As the Bible puts it in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 8, better the end of the matter than the beginning. So the joy is always at the finishing line. So make it your aim, purpose, to finish whatever it is that you begin. Number two, the devil will never fight the beginning, but will always fight the finishing. The devil is very less. He cares less when you start. It doesn't bother him when you start. When you started your salvation, it did not bother him. But you want to make sure you don't finish. When you started your marriage, it was all celebration in your wedding day, in your wedding day, in your courtship, in your honeymoon time, it was all celebrations. But when you come to the finishing line, the devil has a problem with that. When you are nursing your baby, he had no problem. When you are starting your business small, he had no problem. But when you are finishing, that is where the problem comes. And it is good to be aware, the devil will always fight the finishing. Number three, anything that is unfinished. You can write letter A. Letter a. Anything, I don't know, three. Anything unfinished is very ungodly. Anything unfinished is very ungodly. unfinished. It is not godly. Unfinished. Why is it unfinished? Najua niliona picha kwa Facebook. I'm a fan of Facebook. So niliona kijana moja ametebea kwa shoes. Akaenda na unfinished. Naye shoes akatafuta zile maguo zake mzee, akakata, akamshonea. Sasa wakati kijana alikuja akapata rongi yake imeshonewa na shoshu. Akamuliza shoshu kwa nini umefanya nini? Akamwambia niliona guo yako haijakamilika nikakushonea. No. Because shoshu cannot understand this and finish the thing. The Bible says in Genesis 2 and verse 2 God finished. He finished what he was doing, creating the heavens and the earth and all that was there. So God is a finisher. Anything unfinished is not God. Jesus himself on the cross, John chapter 19 and verse 30, the Bible says he declared it is finished. So we follow a God who is a finisher. We were saved by a savior who is a finisher. We also have an apostle Paul who is saying he has finished in 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 7. So it is all about finishing. And Paul is sending a word in Colossians chapter 4 and verse 17 talking to Archippus. Make sure that you finish what was entrusted unto you. So it is a challenge that we all need to aim and to finishing. So anything unfinished is ungodly. Number two, anything unfinished is very risky. Kitu wakijaisha ni hatari kubwa. That is why if you go to Amabor, to Amaborezi, you go to a barrio, and then you give a chief or a assistant chief an opportunity to speak, they will tell you, ile nyupa ikopare haijaisha, sisi kama serekali, tunasema imaliziwe, ama ibomolewe, maana wezi wanajificha uko. Na kumekua na shida kwa hiyo nyupa. Anything unfinished is very risky. Even that food that is not fully cooked, it is very risky. Even that hole that is dug and is not covered, it is very risky. So make sure that you always finish what you started because anything unfinished is risky. Number three, anything unfinished has got no glory. Kidua kijaisha 
hakinaka utukufu although our, our auditor has uh, applauded us because of the building still the glory is not yet out we are doing our best but there is that glory we want to have so the glory is not yet out if you visit a salon as a lady and then the hair is not done 100% you'll be forced to cover ukienda kinyozi unyolewe stima ipote unapatua kofia unapiwa piga maraudi stima irudi kuna siku moja nilivalia nilikuwa nakaa katuni unajua sijazoea kofia sasa nilikuwa nakaa hivi na jificha maana venye umenyolewa na venye unakaa na, venye, na kofia afadhali kofia kuliko venye unakaa kipara nusu so anything unfinished has no has got no glory and finally anything unfinished cannot serve the intended purpose anything unfinished cannot serve the intended purpose that is why Jesus had to die and to finish and to declare it is finished so that his mission can be effective on our lives same to us in whatever you are carrying on whatever project that you have as a church as an individual make sure you bring it to a completion because if you don't finish if you don't complete it they cannot serve the intended purpose maybe up here we have so many offices and other rooms but for now maybe you cannot use them because they are not complete so we cannot realize the joy of finishing we cannot enjoy the your purposes we cannot enjoy the your services if they are not complete now what is this cost of finishing i want to be very fast I've just started a journey today of 10 days marathon into four counties by the grace of God from today until 2nd of April I'll be up and down in four counties to the glory of God so I've started here the 10 days marathon listen even after this I'm going to Kiabu St Paul I have a meeting there I have a fellowship there so I want to be very quick make sure you get it right I want to give you alphabetically seven things that you need to meet the cost of finishing seven things that you need the cost of finishing alphabetically letter a work on your attitude if you are to finish work on your attitude some of us we st we start very well we start happily we start positively but at the middle we become so negative and we see as if it is not possible again we lose heart what is your attitude and the bible says it should be numbers chapter 13 and verse 31 that Caleb silenced the people and he told them let us go up and occupy the land for we can certainly do it this is the attitude that we need people who are telling us let us keep going we can do it let us work on our attitude the bible says in philippians 4 and verse 13 we can do all things through christ who gives us strength that is the attitude that we need to have someone said get this right someone said that your attitude double t your attitude determines your altitude your attitude determines your altitude altitude is the height to you go your attitude kuona kwako kufikiria kwako it determines the height that you reach so work on your attitude another person said the wrong attitude is like a flat tire you cannot go anywhere until you change it what is your attitude towards completing whatever you started what is your attitude watu wengine wako na nia baya wako na mfikira baya they speak negatively what is your attitude towards finishing na dio niliambia wa mama hata kuingia kwa doa kuna watu wanasamaka na goko dikeje roho bue sasa uko huko na bado unateta hutanyolewa huko si ukipia unyolewe alafu urudi ama upake dai 
Sasa unatuambia utanyolewa huko tufanye nini? What is your attitude? Uko tu kwa doa na kazi yako ni kusema na nie no odhi. Na nie no odhi. Sasa unaheta wapi? What is your attitude? Do you see yourself there until your old age? Kuna mtu aliyabua kuna mama aliyabua nisikupate huku nipate umeheda na chochote unataka huku ubebe. Akakaa mpaka jioni mzee akakuja. Wewe bado hujaeda. Akamwambia chenye nataka akikuwa huku ndio nibebe. Kauza ni nini hiyo haikuwa ni wewe kuku. You know? So that is the attitude that till death do us apart. This is the attitude that we did. It is our church we will finish it. It is our church. It is my responsibility. It is my duty. You must work on your attitude. Let it be you need boldness. We don't need weaklings. If you are to finish, don't be a weakling. You need boldness. That is why Nehemiah in our first reading, Nehemiah chapter 6 and verse 3, he is telling the enemies, why should I, why should the work stop as I come to you? He is very bold. They are sending for him to come and abandon the work, to give him nonsense. And he is saying, I will not abandon such a great project to come to you. He is that bold. Are you bold? Because as you channel towards finishing, you will always encounter opposition. Now when I be a if you don't encounter opposition on your way, it means you are going the same direction with the devil. If you have no opposition, it means you are heading the same direction with the devil. Because if you head the same direction, there is no collision, there is no opposition. Acts chapter 21 and verse 13. Paul was headed to Jerusalem, the climax of his mission because he was to die in Jerusalem. And now Paul, a prophet came and took his belt and he said, he prophesied, I think it is prophet Ag- Ag- Agabus, something of the sort. And then this prophet, he was a true prophet. He said, the owner of this belt will be prosecuted, will be you know will be tortured in Jerusalem and then the, the the people who were with Paul started discouraging him and they started telling Paul don't go to Jerusalem you see what what is awaiting you there and he said what are you doing weeping and breaking my heart i'm not only ready to suffer in Jerusalem but also to die we need people who are bold if you are to co- to complete in a project if you are to finish then you must be bold no wonder god is telling jeremiah in jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 18 i have fortified see today i have fortified you like a bronze wall because you need to be bold to face opposition watu wengine wakiogereshwa kidogo hivi kuna church nilieda in this diocese one of the greatest church that we have in this diocese i want to mention and a woman called me after the teaching za kaniabia unajua wakati mwingine unatoa unaabua ni kujionyesha nikamwambia the bible says when god jesus healed the ten lepers he told them in luke chapter 17 When he healed the ten lepers, he told them, go show yourself. Mungu akikubariki, go show yourself. Ukinunua kaguo kazuri, go show yourself. Ukinunua gari mzuri, go show yourself. It has been miracle. Yesu alimwambia eta kwa jionyesha. Sasa <laughs> wewe inakuuma na nini kijionyesha? Praise be to God. Kama shida yangu sijawaonyesha na mnaimulika mpaka na TikTok, kwa nini kibarikiwa nisionyeshe? So be bold enough. Don't be intimidated. Praise be to God. Let us see be consistent. If you are to make it to the finishing line, you need to be consistent. The Bible says in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 13 that don't give up doing what is right. Don't get tired of doing what is right. Be persistent. Be persistent. Don't give up. And always put it this way. Never give up when you can look up. Never give up when you can look up. Let a D. Discipline. If you are to make it to the end, you must be disciplined. 
The Bible put it very clear in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5 that whoever competes in a game in an athlete, whoever competes and not according to the rules does not get the crown. So you need to be disciplined. And the Bible also continues to say in 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 23 that everything is permissible but not everything is beneficial. Everything is permissible, not everything is constructive. So there are things that you avoid. You when we are talking about discipline, it is you restraining yourself. Kuna mabo unajizuia kufanya. Kuna mabo, like now we have a slogan in our house because we started our family house uh, in January 3rd and it has been opened uh, on 4th May. That is when we are going to open our house. And I invite you all, praise be to God. Everything else is done. Mukuja tukure nyama, ata baba askofu atakuja. Praise be to God. So tutakula. So we have a slogan in our house as matters of discipline for you to finish. Kira kitu, nilipata juzi. I thank God for this. Nilipata juzi, unajua hii hard wash. Inakuwa kwa sink. Hard wash. Hii unafinya hivi, unanawa mikono. Sasa nilipata my daughter, ju imefika pare one third. Imefika, imefika pare chini. Ameogeza maji. Nakamuliza who did this? Akanyabia daddy tunajega. Tunajega. Yani ata ya imemuigia iyo discipline. Anataka to save. Diyo tuwane bado sabuli ni miki tusidunue ikine. Ju tunajega. There are things you deny yourself. Jana, Jana aliniyabia on Wednesday. They have a fun, fun day at school. And every pupil is to pay 400. Akanyabia mini tabaki nyubani. Mi msta lipa 400. Kwa nini? Tunajeka. You know, I, Jesus, I love my daughter. Hallelujah. Lakini tamulipia tu. Praise be to God. So, you can imagine, that is the discipline that we need. That as a church, as someone there has said, our brother Kemani has said, kuna mabo tuna reduce. We have discipline even in our budget. Kuna mabo tuna reduce. Ile abayo si bust. Tuneza kuwa na seminar, tunaifanyia hapa, hatuwedi kwa hoteli, discipline, diyo tupate hiyo pesa. Praise be to God. Tuneza hita facilitator, si wa mbobasa, tunaita wa shida ni wa hapa ture muru. Najua na jitetea. Praise be to God. So, at least, we try to have discipline. There are things that you don't do, although you need to do them. The Bible says in Proverbs 25 and verse 28, anyone who cannot control his own heart is like a broken wall. So you need discipline for you to finish. Letter E, you need endurance. Endurance. Kufumiria, endurance. Nilikuwa nabia for service. I have endured in that construction. Tunayesabu vitu na fudi, arafu na kakana niyabia we, mohujia. Utaogeza mabati kumi. Na shiwa sasa tuliesabu. Na likanunua mabati. Sasa na nitisha igine extra. Timiti aliniyabia 100 bags are enough. Right now as we speak, without those tiles, I've spent 190 bags. Na aliniyabia 100. Nika wuzo kwa nilu aliniyabia hivyo, sidiwa ujeke. Sasa you can imagine, you have to endure. Na my wife wakaniyabia, sasa unakasirikia foodie, kwani na kuitisha apereke kwake. So, enjua. Uyo nae ni mwigina ni wakere nyaga, uko kwa kina karua. <laughs> Anakaa tuka makarua, na azinisikie, praise be to God. Make sure hiyo kitu haiko online. Hallelujah. Ures <laughs> ya guido kako. So, you have to enjua. Ukitishwa, uitishwa, uitishwa, make sure you enjua. You, we are not going to ask you for building money forever. It is for now. Endure. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 2 that Jesus endured the pain and the shame of the cross because of the joy that was set ahead of him. He endured. We are enduring because we know what we want as the Dero SEK. We know the outcome. We know the product. We know what we want to achieve. So we are going to endure. Praise be to God. Letter F, it is faith. And I always tell people, while America, they buy with dollars, 
Kenya, we buy with shillings. In this kingdom, we buy with a currency that is called faith. And I always tell people, you can transact no business in this kingdom without the currency that is called faith. Now under 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, the Bible says that we don't walk by sight, but by faith. Can you have faith? We are going to finish this. And I always tell people, the world outside there, people who don't believe in God, people who know less about God, they fake it until they make it. In our kingdom, we face it until we make it. Aye. In the world, they fake it to make it. In the kingdom, we faith it. It is biblical. John chapter 11 and verse 40. Jesus is telling mother, did I not tell you if you believe, you see the glory of God. So if you believe, you see the glory of God. If you faith it, you are going to make it. Praise be to God. Letter G, it's all about giving. Giving. Give your time. Give your attention. Give your energy. Give your resources. Give your all. Paul is saying to the church of Philippians, chapter 4 and verse 8, verse 18, Philippians 4, 18, he is telling the church of Philippians, I am ample pride. I have more than enough because of the gift that you sent to me through Epaphroditus. So Paul is ample surprised. Surprise to your project. Surprise to your mission. Surprise to what you want to accomplish. May God help you to give all you are all, all uh, that you have towards accomplishing, towards finishing what you started. And as I said, the joy is always at the finishing line. And let me tell you, we have come to, from far to give up now. May God help us. May God give us new morale. May God energize us once again. Ni mtuka ma Samson. Samson wakati ya ditoka kwa magoti, akaralia kwa mapaja. Samson ya ditoka praise of sacrifice. Akakuja praise of comfort. Hapa alinyolewa. Akanyolewa na akanyolewa macho. Rakini wakati alikuwa na malizia. Aliyabia mugu give me one more strength. One more time. Na hapo nipo tumefika. Tuwabia mugu tupatia ngubu ingine zaidi. When people are running in the field. You see them ni kama wameshidwa. Rakini ya kiona kaba dio ile. I charge you in the name of God. Mungu atusaidie tutoe kare ka guvu kamebakia, kare ka shirigi kamebakia, kare ka upedo kamebakia. Tumalizie jego hili, tumalizie kazi zetu na tumalizie chochote kile Mungu ametupatia. God bless you. thank God for the fire we've got. <clears throat> it's by God's grace that God speaks to each and every one of us. Let us hearken to the voice of the Lord. Because our Lord is faithful and the strength that God gives us enables us to do and accomplish what we have started. May the Lord give us a new strength to continue even waiting for the second coming of our Lord Jesus Christ for his coming very soon. And the finishing will matter. And also as we are doing other things for the service of God, may the Lord help us to finish well. Thank you very much, Brother Washira. And may God bless you more. We now stand up to sing the song that has been projected as we give our factories, give generously to the work. <laughs> Thank you. 
Father, we thank you for these gifts that have been given by your people. That as they go to serve you in this church and beyond, may your name be glorified. Bless them for your noble starts. Bless each and every hand that has given this morning. And Father, that you add it to more, that next time you have more to give for your work, O Jehovah God. For that, Lord, we pray that you may receive our hearts as a self-sacrifice, needing to be cleansed for you, that, Lord, as you come for your second coming, you find us faithful to be ready to go and be together with you. In Jesus' name we pray continuing prayers. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We worship you. We glorify your holy name for who you are. We come before your presence this morning, Lord, thanking you for the care you've taken upon each and every one of us since we started this year. And the Father, Lord, you've gone with us. Thank you even at this time, Lord, you have come into the end of this land season. And as we approach the Holy Week, O oh Jehovah God, when Jesus will be tempted and even the last time to be hanged on the cross. And this that gives the church of Christianity the life to live and the joy when we're remembering on Sunday the resurrected Christ. That, Lord, you may help us to die and rise with you and have faith in you so that we can be able to succeed. The attitude, O oh God, that, Lord, we have in this service, that this work that we serve you, God, May the Lord be put to a positive attitude in everything that we do. We do be people who be very broad, people who are persistent, Jehovah, people who are disciplined for your work, people who are, have faith that God, great things will happen and in our life as you are waiting for your second coming. Lord Jehovah God, you want us to, be, to meet with you in that heavenly kingdom and therefore we pray that you may help us to confess of our sins that Lord we may be cleansed by you by accepting the sacrifice of your son Jesus Christ and Father at this particular time we remember them that are crying because of different things so Jehovah Lord do remember them them are sick in hospital and at home oh God even at this sanctuary who are not willing well oh God and other various needs that Lord we have God we want to commit them to your able hands the Lord you shall for us we remember the work that is ahead of us of completing this sanctuary and the activities that are ahead of us, oh God, we pray, and as we continue raising fund for accomplishing this work, give us the determination, give us, oh God, the boldness, and never get tired of, until, Lord, we have come to the last and see the glory of what we've been expecting. We pray that, Lord, you provide to each and every one of us, and great things will happen. We remember our country, Lord, even at this particular time, there are many activities and claims that are happening, many accidents. Jehovah God, we pray that you help our drivers and also those who are driving in the roads, Lord, to be careful that we may avoid all these deaths that you are finding. We pray that Lord, the week ahead of us will be a week with precious memories, precious insight and visions. And Father, that we shall be meeting coming Sunday to come and give gratitude to you for the risen Christ. Help us all, oh Lord, to wait upon you because you are coming very soon. Let us be ready because, Lord, you do not know when you are coming. Thank you, Father, for everything that we have done. And is there anything that we have done has not glorified you, God, forgive us what you have done that have pleased you. Bless us. And as we go out, we go with your blessing. And the act activities of the day, we commit them unto your able hands. And now the blessing of God the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you, remain with you now and forevermore. May the Lord bless you. Have a nice week. And Lord, let's meet next Sunday. You, you, you pick an envelope for Easter gift. And I know God will bless us all together. We'll be given a him as we go out to give the other service time. Living below in this sinful world, hardly a comfort can afford. Striving alone to face temptation, so where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul, needing a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? Neighbors are kind, I love them everyone. We get along in sweet.
a call But when my soul is manna from above Where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul Needing a friend to send me in the end Where could I go but to the Lord? Life here is bad, the friends I love so dear Come forth again from God's own word Yet when I face the chilling hand of death Where could I go but to 